Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here, man. So one of the best parts about basketball is the discussion aspect of it. You know, sitting around with your friends and discussing who's the better player. You know, Jokic or Embiid, Giannis or LeBron, Steph Curry or Luke Kennard, man. Like, it's all valid discussions to be having out there, right? But what better way to settle it than trading every NBA team's best player and seeing who comes out on top? Because if I get traded to your team... And I do better than what you did with your team. I'm the better player, man. Plain and simple. Numbers don't lie. No, that's actually false. Numbers do lie because, you know, I'm the best YouTuber around and Mr. Beast has more subscribers than me, man. But numbers typically don't lie. Just in the YouTube industry, right? Okay, so what we're going to be doing is simply spinning this wheel you see right up here. Now I have no hand. And uh, whatever team it lands on, we're going to take their best player, spin it again. And whatever team it lands on there, we're going to spin it again, man. And we're going to trade those players. Sound simple enough? All right, let's do it, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, first spin. Who is the first? Oh, man, that's, that's a loud wheel. I might have just scared some people. What do we got? The Orlando Magic. Who's even their best player? My, uh, oh, Paolo. It's for, it's for sure got to be Paolo Bancaro, right? All right, man. So here we go. Here we go. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, propose a trade. And we got to find the Orlando Magic. And where are we at, man? Um, how y'all think Paolo's going to be doing this season, by the way? He is an 84 overall, so... Yeah, he had a fantastic rookie season. He was like 20 and 10 right off the bat, right? But the team getting Paolo is going to be... The Boston Celtics. Ooh, y'all, I kind of like that, man. Uh, I like it more for the Magic than I do the Celtics, because Jason Tatum is, in fact, the better player. But, uh... Y'all got Porzingis, too. That's going to be... Y'all got too many big guys, man. Paolo's be playing small forward or something. All right, we got Jason Tatum going to the Magic, man. That's some magic happening for the team right there. All right, there we go. First trade is gone. Paolo for Tatum. Right that trade, man. Great every single trade we do here. You don't have to. It's way too much work. All right, next up we got Memphis Grizzlies. Um, so that is going to be Luke Kennard. I'm just joking. Sean Morant because Ronnie doesn't know how to do proper ratings in this game here, man. What does G start with? Grizzlies. There we go. Memphis Grizzlies. All right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and grab up J.A. More Ants, man. Not less ants. More ants, okay? You're an ant farmer. You want this man on your team, okay? And the team that he's going to be going to, 92 overall point guard, by the way, so no slouch, the Minnesota T-Wolves. So, I'm going to guess his cat's probably still ranked higher, right? Or is it finally going to... Anthony Edwards is finally ranked higher, man. Yo, good for Ant-Man. Good for Ant Man. I. This is an interesting trade. This team's not gonna have a shooting guard. I mean, come on, man. Alexander Walker to be your shooting guard, man. Like, what's up with that? I guess Mike Conley, maybe Shake Milton can play it too. Um, yeah, and then Anthony Edwards. You got Marcus Smart at point guard or Derrick Rose, Luke Kennard at center, something like that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Good trade. Fine trade. Okay, here we go. Next uh, spin on the wheel here, man. Let's get it. We have the D. Troy Pistons. Okay, so whatever team uh, we are trading with here, I guess by default has to be my new favorite team for this video, right? So that's just how it's going to be. Because um, I'm trading my fandom alongside the man Cade Cunningham. Oh, I, oh man. Like, who are we going to get, man? Who are we going to get, man? Come on now. <laughs> Is it going to be not the Raptors or the Rockets? Either one. I don't want Scotty or Jalen. Yes, I do. I'm going to mind them. Oh. Oh, the New York Knicks, you say. Jalen Brunson? You know, it's a one-if video, man. I love Jalen Brunson. I would say, besides, you know, any guys that were former members of the Detroit Pistons, I would probably go on the record and say Jalen Brunson is my favorite player, man, in the NBA. I love Jalen Brunson. I just... Everything about him, I think, just makes for a great basketball player. Then Cade's going to the Knicks. That's cool. Um, but okay, yeah. Heck yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm going to stay as a Piston fan. I love you, Cade. But I love Jalen Brunson, too. So I can I can stick as a Piston fan, man, okay? You know, Sean C. Phillips, all those guys. Got to love him for life. We got the next spin up in here. Who's it going to be? We okay, some of the teams aren't disappearing. The Knicks were supposed to disappear. I don't know if that worked or not, man. Okay, uh, Denver Nuggets. This might get confusing soon. I'm sorry. Uh, what do we got here, man? The teams are supposed to delete off the bitch-ass wheel. Um, okay, so we got Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic here. 98 overall. 
multi MVP NBA champion Jokic. Let's spin that wheel, man. All right, and he's going to the San Antonio Spurs. Is Wembenyama's already the best player on that team? He's got to be. He's got to be. He is. Okay, so the Nuggets go from one freak of nature center to another. And the Spurs get to kind of up their rebuild by a few years, man. I would say, um, you know, for one season, bad trade. But long term, hey, you got Victor Wembenyama on the uh, on the squad there. There we go. Okay, next spin here, man. Let's get it. Next spin, next spin. We got the Indiana Pacers. That's got to be Tyrese Halliburton. I think Tyrese Halliburton is one of the most underrated players in the NBA. He's, oh, okay, I thought he was an 83 overall, 88 overall. Okay, that's more appropriate. He should be that. Maybe he's not underrated. He's properly rated. That's a good rating for him, man. Okay, next spin here, though. Uh, he's going to be going to the New Orleans Pelicans. Zion? Even though he hasn't played more than two games since he's come into the league, right? Is he still the best? 90 overall? How is Zion? I mean, those are good numbers, man. But, like, one time I dropped 28 points at the Boys and Girls Club. I knocked down eight three-pointers, man. Do I deserve a 99 three-pointer from one game? No, I do not. But, uh, wish him the best there. I don't know, that's not bad. That's not a good trade for the Pacers, though, man. Like, Zion's cool and everything, but I think they will use Tyrese Halliburton's skills a lot better, man. But I guess you get a, you know, natural point guard on the uh, on their squad now, right? Next up, we got the Los Angeles Lakers. This has no doubt got to be Anthony Davis. Yeah, no, I was joking. I know it was LeBron James. <laughs> I knew it was LeBron James. Come on now. Come on now. He's going to be going to the, okay, San Antonio Spurs. The way we're going to do this is... Since the wheel's not deleting, is going up or down. So it was either the Raptors or the Kings. I'm going to trade them with the Kings because King James checks out. I like it. That's how we're doing this because the wheel website decides not to work, man. So uh, we got LeBron for De'Aaron Fox. So at least LeBron can still keep his house. He's probably got like 17 of them at this point, man. But okay, LeBron for De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox, fantastic player. Um, gonna love to see him on the Lakers, man. A little bit of a rivalry, you know, switch up right there. Okay, next we have the Detroit Pistons. Okay, we haven't done Golden State Warriors yet, so we'll go to the Golden State Warriors for the next team that's gonna be part of this trade here, man. So that's gonna be Seth, Chef Curry. Look at Curry, man. I think Flight, he met Steph Curry now, didn't he? Which is a great moment for him. Uh, Luke Kennard viewed my story on Instagram the other day, so hey, that's full circle for me, man. Um, I'll be going to the Lions game on Sunday. And that's going to be with the Charlotte Hornets. So we got Steph Curry going back to the team that, you know, his dad was on and played some great basketball for for many years, uh, Del Curry. So it's kind of interesting. And then you get LaMelo Ball, who once upon a time could have actually been a warrior, but they went with James Wiseman, the fantastic James Wiseman, by the way. <laughs> no, come on, man. LaMelo Ball is that guy from that draft. Let's be honest, man. Who else was in that draft? I'm sure there's some other guys there that were that guy. All right, next spin. Let's get it. We got the Pacers, Rockets, Clippers. Okay, we have not done the Clippers yet. So Clippers were above them. So we will go ahead and trade away uh, whoever it's going to be. Did you guys hear the load management rules, by the way? Um, you're only allowed to rest one star player. So one of these guys are just going to collapse on the court at some point, man. But, hey, we got Kawhi. Kawhi Mia River. Kawhi Leonard, man. And he's going to be going to the OKC Thunder. All right, and that's going to be SGA. Oh, former Clipper. It would have been ironically funny if it was Paul George, but hey, you know what? Kawhi Leonard, uh, I'm sure you all will take him over on the OKC Thunder, although I'm sure a lot of you guys would rather have SGA. I know I would at this point, man. Kawhi, you're great. You know, you got a few rings. You're just not reliable anymore, man. I'm going to take consistency, you know, over uh, maybes, over maybes, man. You can quote me on that. Next up. We got Troel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers being traded up in this video here, man. Second best center in the NBA, in my opinion. But, you know, still had, can still can play like the best center on any given night. So, take it or leave it. But he got himself the MVP. So, I guess right now, well, no, finals MVP means more than a regular season MVP. Um, He's going to be going to the... Okay, we have not done the Atlanta Hawks or the Brooklyn Nets yet, man. So, I'm going to go ahead and go with... I've been going up with it. So, we'll go ahead and do the Brooklyn Nets here. 
We're going to go up, you know, whatever team's above, man, uh, of the wheel here. All right, where are we at? Nets, that's got to be Mikel Bridges, 86 overall. I love Mikel Bridges. To me, he's like the new... It's like a Sean Marion. Maybe not quite Sean Marion, but I don't know. He's just that guy that just does everything out there. He's just really good, like Sean Marion was. Okay, next up... Um, all right, I saw the Houston. Okay, we have not done Dallas Mavericks. I saw that team a few down, so we will go with Luka next as the next trade here, man. I gotta be quick with looking at this, or I just I lose him, man. Okay, here we go. Proposed trade, Luka Doncic. Uh, I think we've done most of the teams at this point, but we'll uh, we'll figure it out. That's gonna be okay. We got Cleveland Cavaliers below. We have not done them yet, so he's gonna be going to Cleveland in exchange for Donovan Mitchell. Okay, so. You know, Donovan Mitchell and Kyrie Irving, though. Whoo, baby. He also got, you know, Luka and the squad over there. That's going to be interesting, man. That's, that's going to be a small uh, Mavericks team. Though. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a small Mavericks team. Okay, next up, we have the Toronto Raptors. We have not done that team yet. So, where are they at, though? Starts with an R, man. At least that's what I learned in preschool. Now, that was years ago. So, I don't know if that still checks out. Do they still start with R? Yes, they do, man. Thank goodness. Okay. And that's going to be an 86 overall. Pascal Siakam, who, uh, I don't know. I, I like Pascal. I don't like him as number one option, but I do like him. He's going to be going to the Washington Wizards. <laughs> For probably like Jordan Poole. So that's got, oh goodness. <laughs> Sorry. Kuzma. Who's the number one pick in the draft next year, by the way? Let me know that in the comment section. Well, pretty underwhelming trade, not going to lie. But hey, that's part of the video, right, man? Next spin. We have the, all right, saw the Chicago Bulls. We have not done the Bulls yet, so we'll go down to the Bulls. Um, all right, man, all right, all right. There we go. I mean, it's still random at this point, right? So it's just the wheel screwed up. And that's going to be Zach Levine or DeMar DeRozan. Okay, let's spin the wheel, man. We'll do whatever player's the best fit uh, based off the next spin here. And Charlotte Hornets, okay, I see below the Atlanta Hawks. So we will trade with the Atlanta Hawks here. And I'm thinking the best fit for them, because they're going to be getting Trey Young. Um, let's check that team out real quick here. And then we will debate on who the best fit is, man. So Trey Young, and they need, oh, I mean, I love my dude Sadiq Bay, but uh, yeah, they need DeMar DeRozan. They got, they got Hunter already. Yeah, they need DeMar DeRozan, man. Uh, losing a lot of shooting with this uh, with this right here. But Trey Young and Zach Levine, like that's that would be a little interesting. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's see what else we can do. Because I think we've traded pretty much everybody that we can. Um, SGA's gone. Edwards, DeMar DeRozan. Okay, Miami Heat we've not done yet, man. So let's go ahead and hopefully, you know, get a team for the Miami Heat here. Uh, we got Kings. Okay, I see Portland Trailblazers. So uh, a little bit below. So we'll do a trade with the Portland Trailblazers and the Miami Heat. There we go, man. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to work out the way that Heat fans are hoping because, well, Jimmy Butler's got to be gone in this case. But, Lur, that's okay. Going to be going to Portland Trailblazers here, man. And before we do that, let's make sure uh, we've got everybody else. I think this... Okay, we still got the Suns. We got new decks too, man. We'll do the Suns. Okay, Damian Lillard, Dame time, Jimmy time, whatever you want to say. Next spin. Next spin, next spin. Okay, I think we're down to the uh, to the last team here, man. So, uh, what have we not done here yet? Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, the Bucks we haven't done. Uh, and the Suns we haven't done. Which by default means... Yeah, Kevin Durant for Giannis. Kevin Durant for Giannis, man. Oh, wait, that's uh, the wrong thing, man. All right, there we go. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at, KD or Giannis? Either one. Um, that's a pretty balanced trade, I would say, like, rating-wise, at least. Uh, 96 overall. KD's probably, well, like a 95, I would have to imagine. Um, oh, 96 overall. Okay, so you guys made a workout and everything. So that's looking good. Um, next, what we're going to do is I'm going to get the lineups all looking crispy out there, man, and then we will go ahead and simulate this NBA season. One final trade we're doing, guys, is I'm trading Jalen Green for Laurie Marketing because I forgot about the Jazz and the Houston Rockets. So there you go, man. I hate you, Jalen Brunson. 26 and 55 for my Detroit Pistons, man. Okay, that's not fair. Okay, that's not fair. One more game in the season here. Simulate through day. Finish with the L. 
Luca on the Cavs, 32, 11, and 10. I even put him at small forward, too. So that way, you know, Darius Garland could be a starting point guard. Uh, Wimben Yama, Rookie of the Year. Hey, there you go, Nugget fan. CP3, six man. Uh, AD, uh, Paul Weed, Luca. Okay, Clutch, Howard, Lou. Okay, man. Cool, cool, cool. We got All-NBA first team looking like this. All-NBA second. That's the thing. is like these players are still all going to be great uh, no matter what. Pascal, though, balled out on the Washington Wizards, apparently. And uh, Josh Giddy also making the All-NBA third. So good for him on that. Okay, so what's the uh, actual standings looking like here, man? Let's go ahead and pull that up. All right, so we got, uh, where are we at, man? Team stats? That's not what we want. Uh, we want standings. Standings, NBA standings. Okay, so Cavs of Luka was the best. 76ers, Magic. Wow, Magic, there you go. Who'd y'all get again? It was like the first trade, so I do not I do not remember. Oh, Jason Tatum. Okay, that makes a bit more sense now. Uh, Kate on the Knicks, actually, man. Okay. Good for him there, and uh, my Pistons were the worst team. How about that? <laughs> I don't get it, man. I don't get it, man. I get such bad luck with sports. It's not fair. This is how the Western Conference has panned out over here. Dallas Mavericks got last place with that backcourt, man, but it's all good. Um, unless you're a Mavericks fan, of course. But real quick here, since you guys already know which players are here, uh, we'll go to the player uh, stats on the season so you guys can see just how your favorite team did. So... We got Jalen Brunson dropping the 20 and 5. Um, Kai, uh, where are we at? Yo, where's. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah, that's right. The Raptors got stuck with Kuzma. I was like, why is Kuzma at the top here, man? Where's the other guys at? Uh, Lauren Markin doing his thing on the Houston Rockets, the starting small forward. Jokic played pretty nice, obviously. He's going to do that. Oh. Can you imagine Giannis attacking the paint and having Beal and Booker to kick it out to? Like, can you literally imagine just how crazy that would be, man? I think that's who's going to win it all uh, in the simulation is the uh, Suns. That's just my prediction here. John Morant teamed up nicely with Carl Anthony Towns, Jimmy, Hemi Butler. Oh, I forgot about Scoot Henderson, too, so that would be nice. Uh, LaMelo Ball, still fantastic numbers as that starting point guard for the team. Jordan Poole leading scores, man. Screw you, Pascal. <laughs> You'd be my second option, man. Uh, Mikel Bridges out there, 23 points. KD at the 28 and 8. All right, all right. Uh, elite, elite play before, uh, between Trey Young and Zach Levine. Luka dropping that third cue, as we already know. Paolo Bancaro, third leading scorer, but, you know, Jalen Brown was able to take over as the team leader. SGA on the Clippers dropping that 26. Ant-Man, 26-5. and five. DeMar DeRozan at 23. Bam. I'm sorry. Dame at 30 points, six assists. Man, if they get Jimmy Butler with Damian Lillard and Bam on there like that, it would be insane, man. Uh, Scary Curry out there, man. We got 34 points, 6 and 7 for him as the lean scorer. Jalen Green is the lean scorer over here for the Utah Jazz. LeBron James, King of the Kings, 27, 8 and 7. My dude, Cade Cunningham, 22, 6 and 5. Darren Fox dropping that 24. We're back to Jason Tatum here, man. So, yeah, my prediction is where are the Suns at? I think the Suns win it all. I don't know why. Just that that team seems scary to me. So simulate the play-in tournament. Spurs are gone. Celtics are gone. Uh, OKC is gone. And the Nets are gone. All right. Next up, simulate round. See how this goes. Pelicans are gone. Bucks are gone with KD. Portland's gone with Jimmy Butler. Cavs are gone with Luka. Okay. Knicks are gone with Cade. Hawks gone. Warriors gone. Lakers gone, man. We moving on. Next round. Who's going to do it? Who's the best player of the Heat are gone with Damien? T-Wolves are gone. Magic are gone. Grizzlies are gone. So we're down to SGA versus Giannis. And Mikel Bridges versus... Who the Bulls get? Oh, Trey Young, right? I didn't see that coming, but shout out to Chicago. Man, you guys deserve it. You've been going through some tough point guard years, man, for like the last... 30 years, something like that. Simulate rounds. Okay. Clippers are gone. Bulls are gone. Giannis, MVP of the West. James Harden, MVP of the East. We got Mikel Bridges against his former team, man, with the 76ers. Right? It was Mikel on that team. He's got to make sure. Yup. Yeah, Suns are winning this. Simulate rounds. I knew it, man. I knew it. As soon as I saw that team come together, I knew it. That was just, you know, crazy insane. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, man. I love doing videos like this. It's been about a year or two since I've done them. So, if you want more, be sure to, uh, you know, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and peace out, my friends.